My name is Jonathan Clayton and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Odeliver. Odeliver is a tech-enabled e-commerce logistics company. So that essentially is a fancy way of saying that we help retailers around Trinidad and Tobago get their packages delivered using a lot of technology. It's a funny story actually because what it was was never designed to be a logistics company. We started a year before that in um, a health and wellness marketplace. So what that was, we went around Trinidad and got a lot of health and wellness stores on, on our platform and we were helping them to essentially get into e-commerce faster. The business was not doing very well at that point. It also started in, in, in my co-founder's mother's living room, right? So we were there and we had a heart to heart one day and we said, you know, maybe we should focus on logistics instead of trying to do the marketplace. I think initially it was solving our own problem and then as we grew we realized that this is not just a problem we have but a problem that thousands of businesses in Trinidad and Tobago have. My business partner and co-founder of the company, his name is Aaron Deborg. He is a he's our CTO and a technology expert in what he does. You know, I handle a lot of the business end of things, he handles a lot of the tech. He's actually in a very dark room coding whole day. So, I mean, it, 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 it's amazing what he can do. And then we, we just take that code and we build the business around it. You know that you, you find now that a lot of businesses that are going into e-commerce, they, they can get access to our website. They can even facilitate payments. But how, how are your packages actually getting to your customer transparently and quickly? So that's really where we come in. We're that last mile that last end of your, your, your transaction that really drives that, that home for you. The, in, in total, right now we have over 6,000 businesses since we started. So that just shows that the industry is actually not only growing, but it's, a, it's in high demand. When you think of challenges, I would like to think of it as two main challenges. One is warehouse space. We moved out of Aaron's living room. We went to our first warehouse. We went to another one after that, and now we're here. So in the last three years, we've moved four times. Growing with people is also a challenge. So we had to quickly onboard new staff, just structuring the business in the, in the right way to service our customers in the best way possible. That, I believe, was another huge challenge for us. Risk for any entrepreneur is a word that we are all familiar with. So for us, taking a risk was essentially starting a business during the height of COVID, as well as not paying ourselves for six months. As an entrepreneur, or for us, that risk was manageable, and I believe it was a good choice and, and a good outcome at, at the end of it all. I always tell myself if I would regret trying and failing or never trying at all, and 100% of the time, I always will regret not trying at all. We do have a lot of ambition to scale, but we want to scale when we think, we believe that we have the right solutions for these businesses. Because for us, regional is definitely in our minds and our hearts. We do believe that we are capable of building a regional business, but I think we don't want to jump too soon. We are still three and a half years old. We are learning a lot still. And I feel within the next year or two, we could be ready to make that leap. I mean, social responsibility is something that every business should take on and on, take on in a real way. We are we, we're in the business of, of moving packages, building businesses, helping them with their deliveries. But we, we're also helping the most rural of businesses get started, you know, like the, the, com the companies and the individuals that may be in the rural areas of Trinidad that may not ever think of starting a, a company and reaching everyone in Trinidad and Tobago. We have done a lot in the short space of time that we've been in existence, but I think we've tried a lot, learned a lot, and we want to be able to, to, to share that story and encourage and empower many others to do the same. I'd like to thank TT Chamber for presenting us with this SME Medium Category Award. I'd like to thank Republic Bank for sponsoring this award. And we hope to continue to grow as a company with this support and we really hope to continue to work with our businesses, our staff, and we're happy to be a part of this industry and we hope to do great things in the future.